Hi there! Thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. This video is part of the series of videos I post to try to help people out when it comes to aptitude tests like the civil service exam, UPCAT, LA, IFILSAT, and all of those things. Now today we're going to talk about converting units of weight. Now if this is the first video that you're watching from this channel, go ahead and click subscribe. Hit the bell icon to know as soon as a new video posts because I always make a new free video lesson for you guys every week. Para wala kayo miss. Now um, this is part 3 na ating series on conversion. We already talked about converting units of time and converting units of length. Today we're going to talk about converting units of weight. And in order for you to better understand this, you have to watch the first two videos first. So if you niyo pa yung napapanood, go ahead and click the I button right here para mapanood nyo muna yung mga basics para this time maging ready kayo. So hit pause here, go ahead and click and watch those. Tapos balikan nyo na lang to para dito sa ating lesson. Now today we're going to talk about converting units of weight. If you, you're ready to learn, go ahead and grab your pen and paper because you're going to need to take down notes and I'm going to switch over to my PC so I can show you how to do it. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so uh, today we're going to talk about converting units of weight. So, napag-usapan na natin yung units of time and units of length or uh, distance. So, this time, weight naman. Now, the reason why hinuli ko siya is because there are more of these that you have to learn. So, now na medyo confident ako na nag-gets na ng concept, then we can start talking about a new lesson. Ngayon, yung units of weight, may sabihin dito papasok yung mga bigat ng mga bagay-bagay. Ngayon, Let's start with the essentials. Ito yung mga common na ginagamit na units of weight when it comes to mathematical problems. Okay? First, we have 1 pound is equal to 16 ounces. Ngayon, yung ounce na to, yung ounce, kasi nakakatawa kasi sa Philippines, di ba? Ang basa lagi, lalo na pag-release sa tindaha, di ba? 8 ounces, uh, 12 ounces. Pero actually, yung tamang basa dun is ounces. Okay? Kasi ang OZ means ounce or ounces. Okay? So, bawat isang pound ay equal sa 16 ounces. Alright? That's the first thing that you have to understand. Second thing is this. Ang isang kilogram or isang kilo ay 2.2 pounds. This is the most common na conversion na hinaharap lagi sa mga exam. Kasi laging lumalabas yung unit na kilogram at saka na pounds. Okay? Next, one stone is equal to 14 pounds. This is a little more, a little less common, yung stone. But this is actually the unit of measure that they use, especially in uh, the UK or in, in England or Britain, when it comes to weight. Okay? Kasi they don't use kilograms. They use stones. Um, so stone, you have 14 pounds. Kaya nakakatawa kasi when you use the stone uh, as, as uh, your unit of weight, medyo, pag sabi mo 10 stones, akala natin minsan... Uh, magaan yun. But the fact is, uh, 140 pounds na agad yun. So, yun doon lang na, na mag-iingat lang tayo dun sa mga ganong bagay. After you know that, you can move along to the next. Ito yung ton natin. Di ba yung tonelada tinatawag? Ang one ton, actually, is, uh, this is shorter for megaton. Kasi ang mega means uh, one million. Okay? Or, uh, kaya yung megaton na tinatawag or ton is actually one million grams or 1,000 kilograms. I just put this here just in case, okay? But usually, you can uh, stick with kilogram and pounds. Usually, dyan lang naman naglalaro yan. Tsaka pound to ounces, okay? Ngayon, again, with the concept that we discussed dun sa first two videos, that's the same thing that we're going to do here. And the reason then why I discussed this table in the last video is because we are still going to use it here. The difference lang would be the base unit natin is gram instead of meter. Last time kasi we talked about meters, right? Decimeter, centimeter, millimeter. But it's the same concept when you talk about grams. Decigram, centigram, milligram. Decagram, hectogram, kilogram. And again, yung sinasabi natin mega, mega gram or megaton, 1 million grams. Okay? So, for example, if you have a question like this, how many milligrams are there in 1.2 kilograms, we can use the same technique. Last time, what we did is just minove natin decimal place, right? So, we start with 1.2. Ngayon, kung pataas ang movement mo, nagdadagdag ka. So, if you start with uh, kilograms and then you move to milligrams, so uh, uh, from kilograms to milligrams, so the dami, so we lang natin decimal place. So, dito tayo magkisimula sa kilo na line. So, we have one, ito. Tapos, we move ka to milligrams, which is our target. Yeah, so kilo to milli, you move one, two, three, four, five, six. So, six. Six decimal places, and dahil parami siya, Okay? Kasi nagsimula ka sa malaki, papunta ka sa maliit. 
Dahil pababa ang movement, we're going to move the decimal place to the right. So, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, dapat 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, the answer is 1 million and 200,000 milligrams. Okay? That's just uh, the way it goes. Pag we're talking about everything na dito sa ganitong range. Okay? But the problem is, again, hindi naman laging ganyan. Paano ko nakahalo na ngayon yung pounds, ounces, and everything like that? Again, we're going to look back to the concept na pinag-usapan na natin before. So, it's very important talaga that you watch those videos and understand those before you move here, no? For example, let's talk about this. Convert 25 kilograms into pounds, okay? Ngayon, in order for us to process this, we're just going to have to cancel the units that we don't like. So, tatanggalin natin yung mga kilograms. Let's start with 25 kilograms. Para mabura siya, ilalagay natin yung kilograms sa ilalim. So, magiging 2.2 pounds over 1 kilogram. That way, makakancel natin ito. So, that's how we solved it kasi pounds na yung ending. And then, we're just going to move along. Again, kilogram to kilogram, pwede na siyang i-cancel. Matitirang apelido niya yung pounds. Iabang na natin siya dyan. We're just going to multiply 2.5 by eh, 25 by 2.2 okay what you can do here is just um well actually you can multiply na paganyan yung long cut or uh gawin natin 25 times 2 which is 50 okay and then 25 times 0.2 which is 5 okay so the answer okay would be uh if you add those together that is going to give you 55. And nagida pa ko lang dito is times 2 and then times 0.2. But if you are not comfortable with this, lalo na kung hindi pa kayo mabilis when it comes to decimal places, you can go and do this. Ang lalabas naman dyan is just the same. The answer is 55 pounds. Okay? Again, ang mag-ingat na lang kayo kung ano ilalagay sa taas, ano ilalagay sa baba to cancel it. Okay? So let's try one more. Convert 2 tons into pounds. Ngayon, this is a little more complicated kasi yung tons to pounds, wala tayong direct na conversion. However, from tons, okay, which is 2 tons, we can go and cancel tons by multiplying it by kilograms kasi sabi natin, bawat isang, ki isang ton merong 1,000 kilograms. That way, ito, makakancel na ito. Ngayon, kung gusto natin dugtong para isang operation na lang, kakancel na ngayon natin yung kilogram, we know na 2.2 pounds per Kilogram. May iiwan ngayon yung unit na pounds, which is our target. Okay? Now that we have this in place, we can start uh, solving na, no? Okay? So, ton, ton, makakancel, kilogram, kilogram. Here, makita natin, over 1 naman, so dire-diretso lang siya, no? Imumultiply na lang natin. So, 2 times 1,000 is 2,000. Okay? Times 2.2. Okay? Which is going to give you 44. And then, mumove natin yung decimal place ng isang beses. Okay? 4.4. Pero meron siya tatlong zero. Kaya, 1, 2, 3. The answer is 4,400 pounds. Okay? So, again, saan na kayo magkakatalo dito? Doon na lang sa multiplication. If you if you multiply the correct numbers. And if you do it right. Uh, but, ang pinaka-importante talaga is for you to understand kung lumalaki ba o lumiliit yung number Ano ilalagay ko sa taas? Ano ilalagay ko sa baba to cancel it? And there's no better way for you to master this technique than to practice. So, it's your turn. Go ahead and solve this. How many pounds are there in four stones? I'll give you a minute.
All right, let's see how you did. So we start with four stones. Ang alam natin is that ang four stones is equal to 14 pounds over one stone. Ito. Bawat isang stone ay 14 pounds. Na ngayon, makakancel na yan. Matitira natin yung pounds, which is our target. So, we can just multiply it. No? So, pounds. And then, 4 times 14. 4 times 14 is 40 plus 16. That is 56 pounds. Okay? So, again, ang practice na lang would be knowing kung ano yung baka numbers and knowing din kung ano yung cancel ninyo. Okay? Now, next, we're going to raise the level a little bit. How many ounces are there in 30 kilograms? I'll give you a minute again. Alright, let's see how you did. You start out with 30 kilograms, okay? And to cancel yung 30 kil yung kilograms dito, you multiply it by 2.2 pounds over 1 kilogram. Kasi nga, like we talked about kanina, bawat isang kilogram ay 2.2 pounds. Ngayon, nandito na tayo sa pounds na unit. Ang target natin is ounces. We know na there are 16 ounces per pound. And so, we can cancel that na and then we can just solve it here, Okay? Ngayon, dahil wala namang natitira sa ilalim, magda tayong kailangan gawin. Makakancel natin yung kilogram, kilogram, pound, pound. Maiiwan yung ounces. And then, we're just going to multiply everything ng sunod-sunod. Okay? 30 times 2.2 is 60 plus 0.6. Uh, 60 plus 6, so that is 66 pounds. Okay? Dito sa part na ito, 30 times 2.2 lang yon Okay? Again, you can go and solve it yung traditional method. I'm just using yung Parang mental math natin, no? So, 66 pounds times 16. So, with that, you can use like this, 66 times 16, yung traditional method. Or, you can use uh, yung times 10, which is 660, plus times 5, which is kalahati nito, 330, plus times 1, which is just going to give you uh, 66. And then, just add all of those. Uh, you're going to have 6, and then this is going to be 9, 15, and then this is going to be 10, 1,056. Or again, you can use the traditional method naman. Pwede nyo multiply by 16. It's just going to be the same thing naman, 1,056 pa rin. I'm just showing you how I do it pag, uh, if I have to do mental math. This is how I do it. Okay, kasi 10 plus 5 plus 1 is still 16. So the answer is 1,056 ounces. Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure to share this video with your friends, lalo na kung mag-exam din sila. That way, mas marami tayong matutulungan. And if you want to reach out to me directly, request a topic that you want me to talk about, or maybe get all of the reviewers that I made or attend the live review events that are coming right up, you can go ahead and go to www.facebook.com slash teamlaika to find out yung mga schedule na mga yun and uh, yung instructions for you to get your reviewer. I would love to hear back from you, so don't uh, hesitate to reach out. You can also post a comment down below para mabasa ko yan. And I read those guys and I appreciate a lot of the things that you say to me. So thank you guys. And uh, I love you all. Thank you for watching. Never stop learning. Aja aja. Kain I'll see you in my next video. And bye for now.